how nice to see you. Welcome to uh, my video and uh, thanks very much for watching and please do like and subscribe if you haven't already and comments as ever are really welcome. So uh, here we are. I'm actually in what uh, is currently uh, my studio, uh, which is in an old mill and you'll have seen it before if you've been watching for a while. But uh, I'm going to title, we all, you'll know the title of this uh, a video if you uh, are already watching it because it will have come up on the screen no doubt so when life gives you lemons so on the earth am I on about this time and what has that got to do with our art well actually I think it's got everything to do with our art and uh, I'll give you a bit of context to this uh, you may uh, be surprised or you may have seen little snippets of what's going on from other of my social media so uh, it's all changed for me. Um, I have made the decision that I am going to give up the current studio in order to be able to consolidate and to develop a home studio. Uh, that has come about through other things going on for me uh, and it's become a necessary thing. So that's one huge thing. Um, I think you'll have, if you've been watching for a while, you'll have seen me move into the studio very recently. Um, I came out of the big studio that I developed a lot of my work in uh, into this studio, which is a lovely light studio. Uh, it's now in a little bit of a mess because I've started moving things and changing things. Um, and uh, anyway, uh, as it happens, I'm going to be uh, consolidating and moving so that I have a home studio. And that comes with a lot of benefits and also a lot of um, questions. Uh, and I will be sharing uh, that with you, not all of it all today. Um, and then the other thing that happened was I submitted. So I, that was just happening and I was just like, oh, how on the earth do I get my head around this? And I submitted um, some work for, for an open uh, event at a gallery and my work was rejected. And this gives you the, you know, this is the, the big thing really. Um, when life gives you lemons, I mean, what do you do? You know. The basic thing you do do if you want to continue and push on, in my case and my view, is that you make lemonade and probably drink gin. <laughs> um, so it's you know there's there's always ways of of thinking about things no matter what happens. And that phrase um, or that uh, quote that comes to mind is you know um, it's not what happens to you in life that counts; it's how you deal with it. Um, and that's really come to light for me. And so what I wanted to do today, um, there's been a bit of a lull because I wasn't in any fit set state to do this last week. Um, but what I want to do today, and you'll see me glancing down because I've written some notes, um, is I wanted to go through a what do you do? Um, what are some practical things that you do to stay on track? Because for me, um, there's real highs, there's real lows. There's lots of questions, lots of concerns. Um, I historically have anxiety problems, so it kicks that all into action and elevates that. So what I did was I th thought, I'm gonna have to pull myself together here um, and not go into meltdown because I have a business to run. I have my artwork as a professional artist to develop. I have to evolve. I've got to have space, physical space, as well as mental space, to be able to do that work. So what do I do and how do I do it? So that those things have come to mind. And what I have, and I've just scribbled them because I'm a great one for using my phone to write notes on. And I'd written these uh, these 10 things that I'd come up with in my phone. I thought, oh, that's okay. I'll just glance at my phone uh, as I am talking to you. Uh, the problem with that is that I'm using my phone to video. <laughs> so that didn't work. So anyway, I have, um, 10 points here on this scribbly bit of paper um, that only because, and I want to reference them just so that I keep them in order. They're not in any particular order apart from the fact that I wrote them, I thought about them and then I wrote them. So there is a kind of an order of how they work. It may be in terms of importance, I don't know, but they were certain things that come to me and I've kept them in that order purposely. Um, and so what I want to do today is to just go through and these 10 things with you and they may have may help you in your circumstances as well and they're certainly things for me that i'm now kind of referencing and realizing you know the importance of them um, and quite a few of them have particular resonance for me 
Um, so I'll go through them fairly quickly uh, just to give you um, that sort of perspective and overview really. So the first one, um, and this is really, you know, came to mind as the things were happening to me and I realised I needed to do all of this and then I got this rejection and so on. The first thing is try not to lose perspective. The thing uh, that I tend to do um, is extrapolate to an extreme or catastrophize the whole thing. Oh my God, I'm never going to do any artwork again. I've lost my space. I, don't, I can't develop another space. Oh, nobody wants my work. Blah, blah, blah. You know, all of that. None of which is true, of course. But you kind of, and, and you know, you, you need to wallow in that for a while. Um, but then there is a real importance, I think, to come out of that. Um, try to not to lose perspective. I've not got this, uh, this space is going, but um, as you'll see in future videos, I have a great space that I can develop, that I will evolve into a home studio uh, in, my, in my home. Uh, and that's what I will uh, be doing. Uh, and that's what I'm already in the process of doing. As for opens, open, you know, art events and whatever, some people like your work, some people don't. I would reckon that that's true across the board, whatever level you're at, et cetera, et cetera. And so what? It didn't happen for me this time. Maybe it'll be happening for me next time. That might not have been the right place for me, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, those, those things are really important. I think try not to lose perspective and try to pull back from making those judgments, which leads me nicely into a couple of other things that have come to mind second so my second point is and i'll try and make a pdf of this and it may end up going on a blog but it, so it might not be shareable with this video but i will share it uh this this sort of 10 point thing that i've come up with um staying positive in challenging times list i've called it um the second thing and this is important for me particularly and maybe for quite a lot of you because it applies across the board whether it's art or just life in general be gentle and kind to yourself. Um, in the words that you use for yourself, um, you are good enough. This idea of not being good enough is no good, no good for any of us. And you are good enough. And this is really important. And I have to play that to myself sometimes when I start with a critic, with, with critical voice. Um, and very linked to that is be kind to yourself in practical ways. So, for example, this week I bought myself some flowers, um, have a nice meal, um, uh, you know, sort of have biscuits with your tea, do something that gives you pleasure, um, take time for yourself, have a lovely bath, you know, relax, take a day out, whatever that might be. Little treats for yourself is part of that loving yourself, caring for yourself, that is linked to being gentle and kind to yourself in the words that you use, that I said as point number two. Um, number four, and this is, this is, for me, I find this helpful, not everybody does, but read things like affirmations and things that will help. Listen to podcasts that are positive and upbeat, that give you perspective and interest. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of books. Um, one of which was recommended by my friend Sue, which is, and I haven't started yet, Coffee Self Talk. Uh, this is supposed to be a really good book. Um, I won't say too much about that. And then this one, because I am aware, since starting to turn my house upside down and uh, change it all around and move things, how much clutter and rubbish. And this is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying uh, by Marie, Marie Kondo. And that's a very well-known uh, book. But, you know, just um, to give you those as a couple of examples, really, and I won't review them or go into them here, but just to say, you know, I think affirmations, state positive statements, those sorts of things, you know, reading, even if, you know, it's just to get lost in a book, read, um, really important, I think. Um, so that's my number four. Number five, um, and this is, this is key, and, and it's nice that it's kind of halfway through my list. Complete the sentence, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And that is, or, you know, and, and drink gin, of course. I mean, it goes without saying. Um, and I think that's quite, um, for me, so what I mean by that is that um, I have got this situation now, so what I'm now on with is developing my home into a home studio uh, combined and, and, and doing all of the work to make that happen. And of course, 
The other thing is uh, around, you know, not getting rejected for things. With, with art and things, that happens. It happens all the time. You're always, you have to be, I suppose there's a resilience needed, apply for more things. Apply, you know, have a look around what you think might be more suitable for you. Um, it means nothing to get rejected, actually. And actually sometimes, and the same applies for being accepted. Right place, right time, whatever. You know, it's, it's those things. It doesn't... I think it's it's easy to get blocked by them by this idea of rejection and 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 again catastrophizing what that might mean. So this idea of moving it on with uh, developing your you know your your strategy for or or having ways in which you can move on when you've got what you've got. How do you make that into you know sort of into a pathway to your where you want to get to? So in my case, um, I'm busy. Um, evolving and developing that space into a studio space at home. So I have a, a, a room, a bedroom that I am actually converted uh, and converting into a studio. And it's the largest one, it's the lightest one. And that's why I've decided that that's going to be the, the one. Um, and the other thing, the, the next thing is to try not to get overwhelmed. Um, one thing at a time. I'm one of the things I do, and it, this may not apply to you, but one of the things I do is I kind of try and eat the elephant. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm instead of um, just thinking about the next stage, the next stage, I'm trying to think about every stage to a point into, you know, whatever it is, you know, the end point. So in my case, the studio. And of course, there's, you need to plan, but to try and take that all on board at once um, is too much. So later on today, I'm going to start painting and decorating this particular studio room. I'm not going to start thinking about the end details of that room or how it's going to be laid out at the moment. I'm just thinking, the first thing is, need to get the dust sheets down, need to get me skirting sanded, need to start painting and so on. You know, it's, and that's enough, you know, never mind the 25 million steps. It's easy to get overwhelmed if you start thinking about everything and anything and, and I'm not saying don't plan and don't have some idea but every detail of every stage is just becomes like god I've got these 20 million things to do I'm never going to do them sort of thing so I'm trying to avoid that at all costs and I've got you know broad ideas and then specifics of the most of the things I'm going to be doing now so it's almost like that part of that keeping in the moment our part of meditation I'm not going to go into into that side of things but just part of that um, the next point I've got, which is actually number eight, is keep a journal. Um, small steps, doesn't have to be anything huge, but for me, five minutes each day, what's gone really well, what have I really enjoyed, um, what am I going to try and maybe do differently tomorrow, or what, what, you know, what could be a, a different way of doing things tomorrow. Um, just keeping it simple, or none of those things, or just whatever you want to write. And then number nine, really important, as in art, notice what you notice about yourself. So for me, after, over the last few days, couple of weeks, I've noticed that I have really highs and lows in the day. And I don't, I think that's just my, my rhythm. So in the morning, and when I get up, I'm actually quite positive. I find it quite, I'm quite motivated. Later on in the day, I get more overwhelmed, I get more anxious and so on. So I'm learning that that later time is my time I need to relax and be kind to myself, not keep pushing myself and pushing myself. Um, so that's really important is to notice what you notice about things. And then finally, and number 10, quite obviously, um, you will get through this. Just keep focused on your goals. And so in my case, my goal is to get my studio set up, which I'm really inspired and excited about, um, and also apply for, you know, for, for more things that I can submit my work to. So um, anyway, those are my uh, 10 uh, ways at the moment of, 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 you know, sort of 10, you know, sort of different ways of, 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 of um, approaching things and of looking at things. Um, and and it, those, having that little framework is just helping me. So I hope that's been helpful. I will be sharing uh, in other videos the development of the home studio and some of the nuts and bolts aspects of that from the flooring to the walls to different things I'm finding out about and, and, and trying to, um, to do uh, to, to enable me to manage a smaller space than I have now.
Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe um, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.